Hi, coach. Uh, hi, Murray. Good afternoon. Hello, good afternoon. Happy New Year. Same to you. Thank you very much. Happy New Year, everyone. Good afternoon, all. Uh, welcome to once again uh, Kerala Classes uh, pre match press conference. So, we have our coach, Kibu Utkuna, and player, Jordan Murray. I request you uh, start with the question. The floor is on. Can I start? Yeah, Harry, please. Okay. So, uh, hi, coach. Hi, Jordan. Uh, first of all, uh, happy new year to both of you. Thank you very much. Thank you. So I have uh, uh, now I have I have eight questions. I am Hari. First of all, I am Hari. I am from KLNow.com. I have eight questions for both of you. Uh, five for the coach and three for the player. So I'll start with my questions for the coach. Uh, so good afternoon, coach. Absolutely. So so yeah. Uh, our first op our opponents tomorrow are Mumbai City FC. They are one of the strongest teams, at least on paper, this ISL. Uh, but they can still be beaten as proven by Northeast United in the first game. So what are your thoughts on the opponents? No, as you said, it's a uh, it's a uh, it's a very good team. They have uh, very good players. Uh, they are playing well. Uh, I think it's one of the, 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 the best things in the, in the competition. But uh, we, are, uh, we are improving. Uh, we are uh, the last two games uh, we, we, we play better than, the, than against uh, Goa and Bengaluru. And uh, we, are, we are still improving in the training sessions. I'm happy with the, the way we are, we are training. And, um, and I hope that we are going to play a good, uh, a good game tomorrow. Thank you. Next question. Uh, so, we had a brilliant win against Hyderabad FC Sunday. Uh, we had less ball position, but we still managed to create plenty of chances. We scored two good goals as well. So, and we uh, made a lot of strategic ch changes when compared to the other matches. We played with a lower back line with uh, fullbacks Nishu and Jessel contributing much more to the defence. So things like that happened. Then uh, players like Rahul, uh, Jeeks and of course Murray and uh, others impressed everyone with their work rate. So does this mean we'll continue following this strategy where work rate has more importance than other uh, factors like ball position and all? Uh, sorry, which is the question? Uh, we we uh, we uh, all, we uh, sacrificed on ball possession against Hyderabad FC, but we we had much more work rate. Our players worked really well, worked very hard on the pitch. So does this mean we'll continue working like this, where we sacrifice ball possession but work well to you know press uh, and create chances? You know, football is. Uh... Uh, a game of action reaction. It's not that we sacrifice the, the possession. It's like uh, Hyderabad is a team that also is a possession uh, based uh, team and uh, they have more possession of the game than us. It's true that we defend uh, better. We are working on that. Uh, also, it's true that we create uh, we created more uh, more chances. I think we are more flexible now. We have different um, different possibilities. And uh, we are working in the, to be better, I mean, to, to have different plans. Thank you. Uh, next question. Uh, you have been playing Sahel as a, a wide number 10 player uh, in the last couple of matches. Uh, and he has done fairly well in that position. So, what qualities of Sahel inspired you to make that change in his role in the team? It's a question. First, Sahal has uh, the possibility and the quality to play outside and inside. And he had, and this is very important because uh, I think he's a, he's a player that uh, is good in positional attack, but also is, is good in transitions. Um, he he's improving every day because. He, he only played, he didn't play even 200 minutes this season, official, in official matches, I mean. 
So, so I think that uh, the best version of, of Sahal is, is going to come. And uh, he's working hard and uh, he, knows, he, he knows that he's an important player for us. And uh, the, good, the, good, uh, the good information for us is that he can, he can play in different, in different positions and he can play well in different positions. Thank you. Next question. We signed Subha Ghosh from ATK Mohan Bagan. He has played under you. He did very well too in the I-League last season. So what, according to you, are the best qualities of Subha? What can we expect from him? And what are the reasons why the club signed him? Well, uh, we, wanted, uh, we wanted an Indian striker because uh, after, after uh, Sabor uh, left to, 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 Su to Sudeba, we have uh, Jordan and Gary, and now, and now we have Subo uh, as, a, uh, as a striker. No? Of course, we have other possibilities. Rahul can play as, as a striker, Utea, even Sahal as well. No? But Subo is a player, is a young player, uh, hungry to play. Uh, he's a goal scorer. Um, uh, he, he doesn't need too much to, to, have, a, to have a chance. So, so I know I know him, and I know that he can be a good uh, a good Indian striker in Indian football. Final question for you, coach. Uh, you sprang a surprise on us by playing Haku and Sandeep in central defence last match. Can we expect similar surprises in the lineup tomorrow? Okay, uh, we will play with the with the team that uh, we think is going to be the be the, the best team. No, I'm very happy that. Both of them, they play well. Sandeep and Haku, even Haku scored the score a goal. They are training, uh, they are training well with more confidence after after last last game. And the good news for us is that they are ready to play when 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 it's necessary. Okay, thank you, coach. Uh, next, my question for uh, Mari. Uh, well, hi, Mari. Uh, you, you had a good footballing career back in your home country before arriving in India and now playing for KBSC. So, what are your first impressions on Indian football in general and ISL in particular? Yeah, thanks for having me. Um, you know, it's obviously a, a different challenge. Um, I actually find the football uh, very different. I think it's very attacking um, over here. Uh, but so far, I'm really enjoying it. I'm learning a lot. Um, but, uh, yeah, I just am wanting to improve and do well for not only myself but for the club as well. Um, so you played a pivotal role in the win against Hyderabad. You scored one of our two goals. Uh, how has the morale in the team been after the win? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's always going to improve when, uh, when we get our first win. Um, it's been a long time coming. I think we've been playing some good football. We've been unlucky in some matches. Um, uh, no, I think the morale is definitely boosted. Um, everyone's positive and now hungry for more. Um, you know, I, I probably could have had more than one on the weekend, but um, you know, I'm looking to improve my um, my finishing, and um, obviously, you know, everyone else is improving at training, and it's been a positive energy at training. So we're just looking to um, looking to get nothing but three points against uh, Mumbai um, with the confidence going into that match. Thank you, Marie. Final co uh, question for you. Uh, while at Central Coast Mariners, you have faced Adam Lefondre, who played for Sydney FC. So there will be a reunion of sorts tomorrow. Uh, on that note, uh, what are your? Uh, do you have any particular thoughts on Adam Lefondre? Oh, Adam's a quality player. He's played at the, the highest level in the world, you know, in the English Premier League, uh, the Championship as well. So he's a class player. Uh, played against him last year and just watching him play his movement, his runs off the ball, um, his work rate for the team. He's a, he's a good striker, but um, you know uh, we've been training to to stop that, and I'm sure that um, yeah, our defence, but as a team, we can we can nullify that and uh, restrict that movement, and and I guess get the three points on the weekend. Well, uh, thank you, Murray. Thank you, coach. All the best for tomorrow's game. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, Ali. Abhinash, please go ahead. Abhinash Sahu. Thank you. Thank you so much. Good morning, coach. Good morning, Mare. First of all, a very morning. happy new year to both of you and all the attendees over here. I'm Abhinash Sahu from IFTWC. I have a couple of questions for Coach Kibu. Uh, 
Am I audible? Yeah, Binash, go ahead. Okay. I have a couple of questions for Coach Kebo. First of all, uh, congratulations on the victory in the last match. But speaking about that, uh, if the team had not won in the previous match, there would have been much criticism. We know that. Uh, then what motivated you to take a big risk of bringing out five changes in the previous game, especially an Indian backline? Hello? What motivated you to uh, take a big risk of bringing out uh, five big changes in the previous game? Ah, you know, uh, for us, uh, we have uh, here 29 players and every, everyone wants to play, you know. Uh, every day we are thinking in the, the best team to play, to play every game. For me, uh, for me, it's not important if you are a foreigner, if you, if you are an Indian player, if you, are, you have 34, you have 18. Uh, we are going to put the players that we think that is the, is the best team to, to, to face in this game, you know. And uh, the, the good news is that, uh, yes, we made five changes and, and the team performed, performed well and we, and, and we won the match. The best, the best for a team is that uh, the players that they are coming in wants to, wants to stay in the team and to continue, to, to continue playing. My next question is, uh, we have signed a defensive midfielder as a replacement of Sergio Sidonka, who was an attacking midfielder. So what was the sole reason behind it? Sorry, I didn't catch you. It's difficult to hear to, to, to. Uh, We signed a defensive, we signed a defensive midfielder as the replacement of Sergio Sidonka. But uh, Sidonka was a attacking midfielder. So what was the big reason behind it? Look, uh, Sergio is a, you know, universal midfielder, you can say, you know, he can play as number six, number eight, number ten. In fact, in the, next, in the first three matches, he played in different roles. First day, number eight, second day, more offensive. Uh, third day, uh, against, uh, against uh, Chennai, he played, he played as, as number six. So he's an universal midfielder. One day, so he's another profile, he's an experienced player. It's true that he, uh, last time in, uh, in Perth Glory, he played more as, uh, as number six, but he can play also in, uh, in a role as, uh, as uh, Central defender, and uh, he can play in different in, in different positions. No, he's a he's a player with a good uh, positional good, good positional attack, very 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 complete tactically, and we are happy that he's he's here with us to, to help us. With the arrival of Juande, uh, can we expect Vicente Gomez in a more attacking position in the next game? Here, um, but we are talking. Uh, you are talking about uh, about concrete names, you know. For example, uh, Jackson played the, the last two games, uh, the last second half against East Bengal, and, and last game fantastically, and and he, he showed that he, he can be a, a very good uh, number six. He's playing uh, really well. So it's not only a question of uh, of one day, uh, Vicente or. Uh, or Facundo in the midfield. This is also, we have Jackson, we have Rohit, we have Gibson, uh, uh, Ayuse, we have different players that they are, uh, they are uh, capable to play. You know, Sahal playing inside, that is, the, is his best position. Uh, this was my part. Thank you. Thank you so much and all the best for your next game. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Abhinash. Uh, Nishan, you can go ahead. Yeah, hi. Hi, coach. Uh, hi, Jordan. Um, Happy New Year to you and uh, good morning. And uh, I have one question each for the coach and the player. I'll start with uh, the player. Um, Jordan, hi. So, um, uh, so in the first few games, we saw uh, Gary Hooper starting as a striker. Then you, both of you, you played together in one game. And then you got a chance to start the game. So, can you tell us a little bit about the competition uh, for, you know, to start games with Gary Hooper and the chemistry between the players? Because I, I'm sure there must be healthy competition between uh, the two strikers, two, the two main strikers in the team. Can you tell us a bit about that? Yeah. Um, happy New Year, by the way. Um, yeah, it's definitely a healthy relationship uh, between all strikers now. Um, 
we all get along. Um, obviously, yeah, me and Gary played uh, against Bengaluru. Um, yeah, for, for me, it was a it was a good time to play to play with him. Obviously, um, he's someone he's someone basically I looked up to before I even met him. Um, but no, it's a healthy relationship. And we're uh, pushing each other every day, which is good. Um, there's sort of no bad blood there. It's just, uh, it's just competition as it is. It's work. Um, so yeah, it's I'm learning every day from him. He's learning things from me. Um, but no, it's healthy. It's good, and it's um, it, it gets the best out of you as a player as well. Um, it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't cause any any harm or anything in the in the club as well. So. No, so far it's it's uh, it's really nice to sort of um, meet someone who's played at the highest level and, and to listen to, I guess, learn things that um, you wouldn't learn from from other people as well. So no, it's it's good. Okay, thank you, Jordan. Um, um, my questions next next questions to the coach. Uh, hi, Kibu. Um, so basically, if you look at Mumbai City's style of play, uh, it resembles you know uh, an intensive. Um, you know, a lot of work uh, off the ball as well. And also, the uh, you know, they want to keep the ball. You see that style of play from Lobera, from Goa as well. So, um, just wanted to ask, um, Adam Lefondre, I think if I'm not wrong, he's got the best uh, goals con goal conversion ratio among all strikers in the league. Uh, if not the best, uh, one of the highest. So, when you're coming up against a striker, a striker like that, what do you tell the defenders? What What is your... Uh, does you do you, does your preparation change uh, when you're coming up with such a team a team like Mumbai? Any change in preparations? Or do you go with the same same uh, same philosophy? No, our philosophy is the same, but it's true that uh, in every game you are uh, you are uh, preparing different things because uh, everything is everything is different. No, Mumbai City has uh, his own style, very defined uh, style of game. Uh, they are they are uh, very competing defensively and offensively, and uh, yes, we are preparing the, the game according to the players they have and according to the, the style the style of the of the team. No, uh, yes, you are right. They have uh, Lefondre, they have uh, they have uh, Bartol Betze that uh, he, he was a very important very important player for 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 our team last last season and also. Another uh, another good players in the in the mid in the midfield line, but also we have we have good players and we are going to we are going to face uh, the match with the objective to to get the points. Thank you, coach. Thank you, Jordan. Best of luck. Yeah, bye. Thank you, Nishant. Uh, Martin, over to you. Yeah, hi, uh, guys. Am I audible? You are. Yeah. Uh, I have a question for the coach and Jordan. Uh, I'll start with the coach first. Uh, coach, uh, uh, it was a morale-boosting victory that you had in the last match. Uh, do you think that you can now kick on from here and maybe push for a place in the top four? Uh, and do you think like aiming for something like uh, getting into the top four, top four would be something that would be a motivation for the players? Or do you think it's still a case of uh, just going one game at a time? Hello, good morning. Well, uh, the, the, our objective is next game, only next game. Only next game, and uh, because, you know, thinking about what is going to happen in 13 games is, uh, we cannot focus in, in that. No, we have to focus in next game, try to get the, try to get the points in, in, in next game, and then we, we, we will be closer to the objective. We know that it's going to be a tough challenge, a very big one, because we are playing against a good team. But uh, I think we are uh, we are better team than two weeks ago. Uh, I'm sure that we are going to be better in, uh, in two weeks. So we are in the trying to improve every day. And um, the objective for us is to give our best version, uh, the best version of Kerala Blasters uh, tomorrow. Uh, thanks, Coach. Uh, question for Jordan. Uh, Jordan, actually. Uh, We've seen uh, Gary. Gary came when 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 Kerala Blasters signed Gary. Like you know, it was a very high-profile signing. Uh, but uh, he has. Uh, it's fair to say, it's safe to say, I guess that he has uh, struggled a bit uh, so far. But on the other side, you have managed to like you know uh, gel with the team, and uh, I think you have kind of contributed more in in that sense uh, in terms of the team's so build-up play and everything else. So. 
how have you managed to kind of do that in terms of uh, clicking with the site? Yeah, I, I wouldn't say uh, Gary struggled. I think um, you know every 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 player goes through every striker really goes through a patch. Um, I've gone through plenty of those patches where either you're not scoring or it's just not coming off. Um, I think that's I think that's part of the game with every player. Um, I think for myself, it's just you know wanting to uh, want, basically wanting to improve, but I'm wanting to uh, wanting to do well for myself, but also the club, the fans, uh, coach, players. Um, I, I think that's in my mind really is to uh, I guess get the try and get the best version of me. Um, obviously, playing in Australia was a different league. Um, this is my first time overseas, so I want to try and uh, have a good impression. Uh, you know, I think India is a beautiful place, and I could definitely see myself playing here. Um, so no, I think um, for me, it's just more wanting to prove myself, and, and I think it's a, a battle against myself as well, trying to get the best out of myself and and, and show my show to me basically that I, I can I can improve and I can score goals and I can be confident and and, and help the team as well because that's the main thing. Is a there's 11 people in the park. Um, you know, if I wanted to play a, a single sport, I'd go play golf or tennis. Um, so no, it's 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 about it's about I guess learning from other players, but helping other players improve too. Because I know that if I help improve, for instance, Sahal or Raul, uh, they give the same back to me. So um, no, I, I think for me, my my start is just trying to. Um, trying to prove to myself that I can get the best, the best version out of, uh, out of me. Thanks, Kibo. Thanks, Jordan. All the best for the game and Happy New Year. Thank you, Martin. Anyone else? Can I ask another question? Please, Harry. Yeah. Hi, coach. One more question for you. Uh, well, uh, in the last, uh, uh, ahead of the last match, we had uh, Gary Hooper, Costa and Bakari Kone uh, not in the match day squad due to injuries. So, can you give us an update, injury update on all three of those players? They are, they are training, they are trying to be better. You are always making the same question. You will try uh, at, the end of, <laughs> at the end of the press conference. So, you know, I, I don't want to say, I'm not going to say uh, which is the, the situation of the situation of the players, uh, of the players. Uh, we are doing uh, our best to, to prepare them for more match and if they are going to, to participate or not. Okay, thank you, coach. I believe we don't have any more questions to ask to the coach and the player. Thank you so much, coach. Thank you so much, uh, Mure. Uh, wish you all the best and once again, Happy New Year to all of you. Uh, take care and all the best for tomorrow's match. Thank you very much. Happy New Year. Thank you. Happy New Year. Bye-bye.